Good morning everybody, Like a Strife here, and uh, again this is my new PC. I actually just switched some stuff over um, because I wasn't really happy with how certain things were. Now people can address me in the comments if they want to and tell me if it's actually a good idea that I did this, um, which is the following. I need to get the stuff out of the way. So what I did here is actually, you can see it right there, right in the bottom. That's actually the uh, the Avermedia capture card, and it's leaning on the SSD. I actually took that one away, put it over here. Um, I put a little uh, rubber pad in between because maybe it vibrates, maybe it doesn't. I want to keep that um, from going onto the SSD. And then we have our Aorus um, graphics card right there. Now. Um, the problem I had with the capture card was it was really tight underneath the capture or the uh, the video card, the graphics card, and uh, I know that you can run two 1080 Ti's in uh, in Sly or an SLI, and uh, I know that they're going to be like super tight together as well regarding the fans. But I wanted to actually give the the graphics card a little bit of breathing room, so I put the capture card at the bottom slot. Now I can always put it back if I need to because it's actually a very easy swap to do. Uh, the thing that was very annoying was the swap uh, with the cables for the SSD, the Kingston one right there. And we still have room for the, um, god damn you can't see shit, for the, um, the motherboard SSD. So yeah, um, this glass panel is really nice but it's really annoying. <laughs> So what I need to do now is actually switch over the uh, the thingamajig over here, the power switch, because I have not done that, of course. That's why it didn't want to boot up. Ugh. I already overclocked it yesterday through the um, the software that's with um, ASUS. So now you can see it. You can see the capture card blinking right there. And then above it is the Aorus. And um, yeah, we got some RGB, of course. I actually turned off the ARS a while back. I think it actually saved it in the graphics card itself, which is pretty cool. Um, but I, I can always turn it like on or blue or whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's. I hope it's gonna start posting. I think I already did. Yeah, there you go. So I gotta go and put in my credential stuff. Um, there we go. And here we go. So what we can do right now is, oh, apparently it has to set up the uh, the audio again. Um, I actually also installed a, a noise reducer, which is a little cable that comes with the fans because the top fans are actually the fans that are supposed to be behind the radiator. But because this already came with pre-installed fans, I put the radiator over here instead of up here. So I use these fans instead, but they should be still good. I uh, should still be good. So I don't really, I'm not, not that scared of that. Um, so let's go to Cinebench real quick. Cinebench and see what happens. Um, last time I had this, which is 6586. So we're gonna run it again real quick, see what happens. I hope we're gonna make it in time because the video is gonna stop in one minute and three seconds. Hopefully it's done by then. But yeah, either way the PC looks and feels really cool. Um, it has a ton of air in and out, which works superb. And, uh, oh crap, I really hope we're gonna make it. <laughs> this is cutting it very short. Come on, you can do it, PC. Still getting used to a lot of things. Oh boy, 30 seconds. Yeah, we made it. Okay, there you go. So the new score is 6491. So we actually went down. Maybe it's because of the noise reducer, but I might have to look into the five-way optimization again to see what happens. But either way, it's still a decent score with, uh, with everything going on. So we'll have to wait and see what everything is going to bring regarding this PC. Uh, I still have to reinstall everything, all my programs, and then I'll see you guys in the next video for some live streaming or something else. 